This video will continue our discussion of line integrals by working another example. Um, instead, now we're going to be in three space uh, with our segment. Um, so let's deal with our line integral in three space. All right, so how we're going to do that is uh, first we have a segment. It's just a straight line. Let's define each one. So x of t. Okay, if I look at x, it goes from 1 to 2. So it has a slope of 1. So it's going to be t. And then it started at 1 y of t, negative 1 up to 5 is a 6, so the rate is 6t. And then we put where we start, which is minus 1. z of t started at 0 and went up 3, so it's a 3t. And then you put where you started, which was 0. So I have my path now. My path is t plus 1, 6t minus 1, and 3t. Using our definition, let me post that, paste that here. We need to oops, find r prime magnitude. So I need to work my way up to that, giving an r prime. And I got 1, 6, 3. r prime of t magnitude um, is the square root of, I'm just going to give you this number, it's 46. We just square each one and add them together. All right. And then now we have everything we need to build this definition. All right. So C, I'm going to write this down. Yes, okay, this is the same thing as t. We never wrote this down, but if I develop my t the way my r like I did, it's always 0 to 1. So 0 to 1, as long as I do that mx plus b thing, 0 to 1, times, okay, and then I'm just going to replace everything. x is t plus 1 squared, okay, times y, which is 6t minus 1, times z, which is 3t, times the square root of 46, that's that magnitude, dt. All right, you would multiply all that out. Let me give you what it would be if you, um, actually, I didn't even multiply it out. I think I used a calculator at this point. I did a little bit and then realized that it was just going to be very gross. So if you want to, it's just algebra. All you got to do is multiply everything out. It's just quite a bit. Um, the answer is roughly, I'm going to let you guys do that, is negative 97.3264. All you got to do is multiply everything out in the inside, pull out your constant, integrate, plug it in. It's really not that much. I don't want to waste video time because I know you guys have to watch it quite a bit.